Fine. Tell them I will take care of it first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Thanks, Amy. Amy? Sweetie, aren't you hungry? Jamie, stop. Wait a minute. Look at me. You haven't said a word since we came back from the Valley Inn last night. Are, are you okay? Are you... Jamie, you know that you're safe, don't you? I mean, Vanessa Cortland is locked up. Jamie! This is Brooke English. Hi. Um, I need to see you today. Uh, my son Jamie was also at the engagement party last night, and he witnessed this um, hostage incident with Vanessa Cortland and Greenlee Smythe. Did you discuss the incident with Jamie? Well, I tried to, but he, uh, he didn't want to talk about it. Sometimes it can take a little longer for children to process, especially in traumatic circumstances. A coffee? No, thanks. Um, he hasn't said a word since last night. Nothing. You know, but uh, when I look at him, I, I know that... I know that something is troubling him. Give him time. Well, how much time? I can't predict that. I just... I just don't want to panic about this, you know, I... But I, I wonder what he's feeling and, and what he's thinking and, and, you know, why doesn't he trust me? Children are incredibly resilient. Trust me, when he's ready, he'll start talking. See, I, 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 I'm not sure if this is a passing phase. He's not talking, he's not eating, he, he's avoiding looking at me. And you feel powerless in trying to help him? I just don't want to do anything to make it worse. It's why I called you, and you telling me to give it time, that doesn't cut it. I need you to tell me something so I can help my son. Miss English, the trigger incident only occurred last night. It's not the first time, though, that Jamie's witnessed psychotic behavior with this Vanessa Cortland. There was an incident that happened right here in the hospital. When Mrs. Cortland grabbed Jamie? Yes, and, and she wouldn't let him go, and she kept calling him her son, and, and Jamie... F he freaked out. What did Jamie tell you? He did... Basically, he, he downplayed it that time because he knew that I was very upset and I was angry at... at Edmund. And then last night? Last night, in the middle of everything, uh, Vanessa all of a sudden spots Jamie in the crowd and starts talking to him like, like she knew him. But your son is aware that Mrs. Cortland is now in, in Oak Haven. Yes, you know, but given her, you know... Her escapes, I don't think that's very comforting to him. How's he doing in school? He's fine. You know, he's a good student. He's popular. And nothing has happened at home that would make Jamie's safety and security feel threatened. His mother's getting remarried. Does that qualify? Ted. What's going on? Are we having a little psychiatric tete-a-tete -tete about our son? Because, uh, Jamie's still a little upset about last night. Define upset. Look, I don't want you to overreact. Is there something you're not telling me? I... I... I will fill you in, okay? I'm not keeping any information from you. Excuse me, why don't, why don't you two make an appointment with my secretary and let me evaluate Jamie? Okay, I will. Thank you, Dr. McMillan, thanks. I was going to call you. Yeah, we'll discuss it in the car, come on. Dad, hold up before you go inside. Why? Is that man in there taking a nap or something? No, he is on business. He's away. I just don't want you storming in there and yelling. Well, why would I do that? Why? Because you're angry? With just cause. You don't go consulting some psychiatrist about our son without telling me first. I wanted Dr. McMillan's professional opinion before I talked well, to I'm you. I'm Jamie's father. And I am his mother. Look, I am begging you. Whatever you do, do not shut me out of my son's life. When have I? I would never do that, Ted. Brooke, admit it. Your life is changing. But you said you were happy for me. I am happy for you. Listen to me. You know, you will always be the top man in Jamie's life. 
Marrying Edmund is not going to change that fact. Jamie will always need his father. I thought I heard some familiar voices. Hi, Merle. Hi, Hi Merle. Uh, how are you? Yeah. Listen, um, where's Jamie? Uh, he's upstairs. Have to get a peep out of him. Thanks. Listen, thank you for coming by. Oh, darling, that's my pleasure. Okay. Now, can I do anything? No, I'll call. You will? Yeah. All right, let, let me, me out. Door. Bye, Terry. All right. Thanks, Merle. Thanks, we'll see you. Uh, right. Bye. Jamie? It's me, son. You want to come down for a minute? Maybe we should let him do this, you know, on his own schedule. Well, we have to let him know we're involved. I know, but we don't need to add any more pressure to him. Look, our son is hurt. If we try to help him, how's that adding pressure? I just... I hate not knowing the right thing to do. James? Jamie, your old man's not getting any younger. Waiting for you. Wait, you want to come out for a minute? Hey, listen, it's a beautiful day to hit the batting cages. What do you say? You want to take a shot at topping my record or what? Jamie, honey, can you come down and join us? Change my mind. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to hook up with this guy, my McKinnon, my McClellan, whatever his McKillen. name is. Make an appointment to. I will. I will. Right. Thanks. As if you weren't gonna do it all already, right? But he let you hug him. I think that's that's good. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be okay. I mean, we're gonna get through this one way or another. All right. Listen, you want to come to dinner tonight? You know, just be the three of us. You mean Jamie? Yeah, I'd like that a lot. Okay. You know, Dr. McMillan said that a safety and security is key. For all of us. Yeah. Okay. Come on, let's get some coffee. Mm -hmm.